the Gospel of Matthew, the popular, the popular sermon is the the most popular is Sermon on the Mount. That is from chapter 5 to 7. These are seemingly very influential sermon of Jesus Christ in which even Mahatma Gandhi really appreciate because in his reading of the Bible, this is the first time that Mahatma Gandhi was able to encounter the teaching of Jesus, love your enemy. Unusual, you know? So, can we visit Matthew chapter 5? Matthew chapter 5, please. Let's, let's visit Matthew chapter 5. Verse 3. Up to, actually, that is chapter 7. We will try to ano, eh, come up with the important teachings of the Mount. What are the blessed, the Beatitudes there? Can we read it one by one, please? Is that okay? What's your name? Queen. Queen, please. Verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. What does it mean by blessed, by being blessed in, in terms of our being poor in spirit? Uh, you, you come up, the, it is against the, pa, pa, the, the religious hypocrite that who claim to be spiritually wealthy self-righteous people. Uh, that, that is important, that we should think of ourselves as someone who is in need of the grace of God. If you think that you don't need the grace of God, your spirituality is something is, is very wrong. We need the grace of God. We need to, to consider ourselves as someone who is poor, who is in need of God's grace and mercy. Imagine these are the a beautiful teaching and a blessed are the poor in spirit. The next is blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Okay. They they mourn because of what? A hunger for righteousness. They mourn for righteousness. And then blessed are the meek for they shall be comforted. The meek what what is the why why Jesus did not use the word humble. The meek is what? The symbol of a sheep. Do you know what, what makes it different when somebody is, is slaughtering a, a pig? Uh, o kaya kambing? Why yung kambing pag kinakatay pinapainom ng suka? Kasi ang ingay. Di ba? Tsaka yung baboy sinasalaksak yung bibig. Ang ingay. Have you ever seen ano, someone who will is, is slaughter a sheep? ang sheep nakatayo lang tapos ginugupitan alam ng sheep pagka kapapatayin siya, kakatayin siya na kinakalbo siya you will notice from a sheep hindi siya nagiingay pero tumutuloy yung luha niya kaya hirap daw ka to kumatay ng sheep eh. hindi nagiingay pero tumutuloy luha aware siya na siya'y kakatayin that's the sheep that's meekness we have seen that kind of meekness in the life of Jesus. When he was slapped, di ba, nung ipapako na siya sa cross, sinampal siya ng isang soldiers, and that soldier asked him, if you are the prophet, tell. Eh, hindi niya nakikita. Sino sabi mo kung sino sumampal sa iyo? Di ba, king ka? Bakit hindi kayo pagtanggol ng mga soldiers mo? My kingdom is not on earth, Jesus said. And we, we, we have seen that meekness of Jesus when, when he died on the cross. In fact, when he was attacked by, the, by these soldiers, he even asked the, the father to forgive them, right? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Imagine you pray for your enemy, for the people who are attacking you, you pray for them. Can we do that? <laughs> That's meekness. That's meekness. The makarios. Makario means, yan yung translation sa Greek ng makario. Makario means blessed. 
oh, beatitude o kaya sa Latino iyan yung salitang bienvenidos kaya kung ang pangalan niyo ay Macario o itong pang matandang pangalan eh huwag kayong maano dahil ang meaning niya ay blessedness kung ang pangalan niyo ay bienvenidos huwag kayong maano dahil magandang pangalan dyan dahil yun sa And then there is another one na important dyan. Blessed are the... Sino na sa inyo? Next, please. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. They shall be filled. Do we hunger for righteousness? Do we, do we desire righteousness from God? Yeah, we should. People of today are so hungry with power. So hungry with money. Diba? And sobrang ano nga eh. Diba? There is a, a very beautiful saying, we buy, we buy things we do not really need. Tama? Tama ba? We buy things we don't really need. With the money we don't really have. So we use credit card. Just to impress the people we don't really like. Diba? Nagpapakyut lang tayo. Diba? Kaya minsan gusto natin ng cellphone, mahal. Gusto natin mga magagandang gadget. Just to impress the people around us. Uh, yes, uh, when was that? Thursday? Thursday, I have, uh, Thursday night, I was watching CNN. Ano yung naka, ano, nakapila na sa US yung bibili ng latest iPhone? Ano? Napakarami. Diba? Hindi natatapos yung hunger ng tao for power. Hunger for money. <laughs> But this is something new. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they shall be filled. This is, this is something that is new in the, in, the earrings, in the hearings. In the hearings of the people. This is something new. That people should desire for righteousness which is very empty today because people of today we what we desire power we desire wealth we desire popularity not god konti ang desire natin kay god and we should we should desire for something which is important and that's god and then what Blessed are the merciful. May mga mga pangalan eh. No? When I was in Switzerland, these are very popular words. Mercy. That's the greetings. Eh. Mercy. Thank you. Mercy. Danke. Yung mga ganun ang batian doon. Mga. Thank you. Danke. Mercy. If somebody gives you something, mercy. <laughs> yung hello sa kanila, grassy. Friends, ang ginagamit naman nila. So that's important. No? Blessed are the merciful. So we should extend. Uh, why Jesus started this ministry with this kind of teaching in the in the Gospel of Matthew? Because the 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 recipient of Matthean, Ma, Ma, the Gospel of Matthew are rich people who, who whom Matthew encouraged to to practice mercy to the poor people. Hey, you should take care of other people from the Old Testament time. That is the teaching of God. Take care of the poor people. Be merciful to them. And then the, 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 there is another beautiful blessedness there. The next is what? Blessed are... Blessed are, in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart. What does it mean by pure heart? Wala pang bypass. <laughs> the purity of the heart is important. Why Jesus, and in the, in the writings of Matthew, Matthew focuses too much on the inner. Uh, because the, the recipient are rich people. Uh, pag rich ka, ang laging contentment mo. And then in chapter 6, uh, chapter 5 to 7 are called the Sermon on the Mount. From this, we have encountered the best, probably the best sermon. And the, the golden rule were found there. Diba? Ano yung golden rule? Oh, ang hindi sinabi ni Jesus yung negative ah. Kadalasan ang kinokot natin yung negative eh. Do not do. 
Di ba? Uh, alam nyo ba yung joke? Ano yan? Ang, ang positive ang kinote ni Jesus. Ang sinabi ni Jesus, do, not the passive, but the active. Do unto others what you would have them do unto you. You want respect? You respect others. So the positive, that's the positive teaching, not the passive, that, not the negative, do not do. Ayun na madalas nating ikot yung negative eh, no? Sabi ni Jesus, do not do eh. Walang sinabi si Jesus na do not do. Ang sinabi ni Jesus, do. And to others. There are lots of sermon. The, 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 the Matthew chapter 5 to 7 are full of beautiful sermons sa buhay ng tao na dapat we should keep on reflecting and practicing. Diyan yung mga turo na do not judge. Huwag kang hahatol. Let God be the judge. You enter into the narrow gate at the end of that eternal life. You enter into a wide gate at the end of that is death. That's seemingly a symbol of what? Lifestyle, ano? Pumasok ka dun sa makipot yung mayroong mga rules. Huwag kang pumunta sa gate na o maluang, wild ang buhay dyan. Where there are no rules, there are no system. You get inside the gate of God, the narrow gate of God. You live according to the principles of the kingdom. Seemingly, the, the narrow gate symbolizes the, the, the way to the kingdom because the end of that is eternal life. Kasi hindi pwedeng wala tayong system sa buhay, di ba? Dapat, the, our, our, that is what we call the, the evangelical keeps on saying that the Bible remains to be our source of faith. It means what we should believe. And then, standard of faith and practices. This is the basis of our Christian conduct, the Word of God. That is important for us. Na dapat meron tayong uh, system na we live according to the principles and guidance of the the Word of God. So seemingly, Matayan, the, the Gospel of Matthew was written to the to the rich people. In he, in the eyes of Matthew, they are economically rich. Luke chapter six. Uh, look, if you will look at chapter six of Matthew. Matthew keep on saying that do not invest treasures on earth. Do not save for yourself treasures on earth. Because these people are focusing too much on the earthly treasures. But invest for yourself treasures on heaven. What are those? You look at the blessedness. Don't I mag invest? Uh, Mahalaga na meron tayong mga naipon ng panglangit na na kayamanan. It means, Matayan, Matayan Gospel is convincing the community, the, the people of God, hey, you exercise good, goodness to others. At seemingly, ano yan, yung parang sa Catholic side, yan ang pinagmumula nila. Kasi ang Evangelica, laging galing sa John, sa Gospel of John, galing sa... Pauline writings, ano, yung masyadong issue ng faith, grace, pero yung practice mukhang sa matay yan, ano? Kung talagang nasa kingdom of God ka, the, the ano eh, the, the, the sermon of, on, on the mount is also considered as the, the ethics of the kingdom. This is considered also, the sermon on the mount is also considered as the ethics 